Hey guys, welcome back to GS Lovers YouTube channel. I'm your host, I'm Neha. If you are new here, do not forget to subscribe to this channel and spread the word. Today video is not on GS. Today video is on CSS. I'm trying to play around and experiment with the videos. So you will be seeing the mixture of different different things coming over on this channel. Okay, so today I'm going to tell you about a new property which is current color in CSS. Uh, this is the example I made on CodePen and the same example is also on my GitHub. I will be dropping the links or everything below this video. So you can just go off on those links after this video. Okay, so let's see the first problem, the problem which we are trying to solve here. When you are playing, uh, when you are working on your CSS, obviously we are very much familiar that where it is very annoying to repeat the same values again and again. And for that we have variables. We have variables in CSS now, we have variables in CSS now. For the SAS, I am not going to talk about because this is something uh, I wanted to keep native CSS. So let's talk about the CSS variables. I already made a video on CSS variables. The only challenge comes when, for example, I have a variable of the color pink. Now my that particular variable must be getting used all over my website or the portal. But what if only at particular one button I wanted to change that pink values. I wanted to make it more darker. The challenge comes now because now what I will do either I will change the uh, I can't change the variable value because that particular var variable is getting used across my application. So I will declare a new variable and this is how the messiness of the variable start. So now to solve this problem we have a current color property. What current color do is it will pick the first color defined in your CSS class or uh, scope and after that whenever you use current color it will take the reference of that color. So for example here in button my color I have defined was this and after that if you will see my border color I'm saying current color my box shadow I'm saying current color so basically current color means this particular color so let me show you that let me change this and if you will see see now the border become red as well as the box shadow become red the text color is not changed to red because this text is not coming from the button I have used the before tag which is here so that's why why I did because if I will not I was not using this I was get I was trying to pull my text from the inside the button tag only the color was also changing red and as well as I was also trying to make the background color change red background to the red so they were merging so this was the only problem I was facing which is like can be sorted easily by this and let me show you what I'm doing on hover so this is what is happening on hover again on the hover state I'm taking the you I'm using current color so this is a very simple thing but a very powerful feature imagine if you will start using this in your css you will be actually making less uh, making the variables less messy so i would say guys go back explore this property and if you have any feedback or suggestion let me know in the comment section thank you guys bye